Hello Agents and welcome back to another Division video. Today I've got a healer build for you on the PTS using the brand new gear set, the Future Initiative. This one will be pretty hard to put together because it does involve the chess piece which is going to be locked behind the raid. But we can swap a couple of things around, we can swap the chess piece and the holster around with some alternatives and get a fully working version of it, just not quite as good and I'll explain why very shortly. So first of all we'll look at the specialisation, pretty well known by now though I think we're on with survivalist and the reason is because when I heal with my med kit I heal any teammates around me within 20 metres. I also get 10% increased protection from elites which is super useful and I also get 15% increased outgoing healing. Make sure you spec into whatever gun you're using as well. Weapon wise, I'm using a Mark 17. You can use whichever gun you feel comfortable here, but I would go with this talent, Reformation. Headshots grant 30% skill repair for 15 seconds. It's just a headshot, it's not a headshot kill. So super easy, just pop a headshot and then for a whole 15 seconds, your healing's way, way better. Second, I've gone with a Lullaby, not because I want to be shooting it, purely because of the talent Sandman. When you attack, it instantly kills non-elite enemies. So go over them, punch them with the gun, and they'll just die. Really, really useful, especially if you're being rushed by an enemy. You know, as long as it's not a yellow, you can just punch them with the gun, and away you go. They're dead. So it adds a little bit of extra DPS to your build. Fire grenade, super useful. Big range, puts them on fire, Makes them run around so that your DPS teammates can, can kill them. So definitely go with the fire grenade. Offhand you can go with whichever gun you want. We'll have a look at the actual gear set. So two pieces gives you 30% repair skills. And this is basically the, the amount of repair skills you can stack across this build is absolutely insane. And that's why it makes it so, so good. It's available... You know, here in the gear set, it's available as attributes, it's available in mod slots. You can just stack so much, it makes it absolutely crazy. Three piece, we get 15% skill haste with 30% skill duration. And then four piece, ground control. Increase you and your allies' total weapon and skill damage by 15% when at full armor. When you repair an ally, you and all allies within five meters of you are also repaired for 60% of that amount. So where you place yourself is very important as well. But the heals are just crazy from this. So, you know, it's really, really good. Core attribute, obviously you want to be skilled tier. As you can see, I've got 20% repair skills on here with a mod with even more repair skills on. So already from the mask, you can see repair skills is already, you know, nearly 40%, huge. Gloves, you're going to see the same story, repair skills and skill tier. And knee pads, just, again, the same story, skill tier and repair skills. Chest piece, skill tier, repair skills, and then repair skills in the mod slot. And we get the talent, increase grown control damage bonus from 15% to 25. Definitely worth it, 10% extra damage for... All of your teammates, as long as I'm sat at full armour and I can heal that good, I'm always at full armour. So let's take a look at the backpack. I've gone with Alp Summit rather than the brand set, which I'll explain why in a second. You can see Alps gives me 20% repair skills just from having one piece. Core attributes, skill tier, attributes, repair skills. I would love the armour regen to be skill haste, but... I'm not losing too much sweat over it with it being a PTS. Yellow mod slot repair skills, but safeguard. While at full armor, increase total skill repair by 100%. A little bit of synergy here with the brand set bonus because I have to be at full armor for this to proc. And the damage bonus for my team also has to be at full armor. So a little bit of synergy there. But the reason I've not gone for the backpack 
is the talent on the backpack is increases ground control proximity repair from 60% to 120%. And I just don't think it's worth it. The heels are absolutely insane already. The 60 to 100% proximity for the kind of secondary bonus for this gear set just isn't really worth it. If I want to be near somebody, I'll just make sure I'm near them. You know, it just doesn't seem that worth it for the extra the extra bonus heal that they're going to get. It heals so insane already that it's just not going to make much sense. Running safeguard definitely makes much more sense here. The holster, I've gone with the improvised holster because it can be an all yellow fest. So as you can see, skill tier, repair skills, skill haste and the mod slot that is yellow as well. If you're wondering where you get the improvised holster from, it can roll any combination of colours, but if you go over to your bench, scroll down to the fourth section, and there you go, you can craft away. And as you can see, I'll just craft one now. A red, blue, blue with very bad stats. So you've got that RNG to contend with when trying to craft it, but it always rolls consistently with a yellow mod slot. The other three attributes are random. But I rolled about 20 and I got this one, uh, which was really, really good with the skill tier and repair skills being half decent. And I just added skill haste to it. And obviously, as you can see, that gives a huge amount of repair skills across the board. Uh, if I was going to swap things around because we've not been in the raid yet, what I would do is I would switch to something with empathic resolve on, repair skills and skill haste. And obviously then, then you could switch in the holster for the gear set with repair skills on. And that way then you can go into the new raid with the new gear set as a healer with a very little bit of compromise. You're just going to lose out on that 10% damage from the chest talent, but you are going to gain empathic resolve, which is going to buff your enemies sorry buff your teammates damage anyway i just wanted to pop in here and interrupt the video just to mention another way you could run this build you could actually go with the btsu gloves because they come with skill haste and repair skills swap out the holster which obviously has skill tier and repair skills on and you could run it this way instead this would give you the overcharge options as well. The BTSU gloves have had a little change. As you can see, it grants 15% hive skill haste per skill tier. Detonating a hive refreshes your skill cooldowns and grants overcharge for 15 seconds. If at skill tier 6, which we are, this also applies to all of our allies, which is then going to allow us to use overcharge buffs across my team. As a 2 minute cooldown still, uh, but as you can see, this could be a completely viable way of running this. But it is going to require us having the chest piece or the backpack, which are going to be raid exclusive. Heels, gone with the chem launcher. Obviously, we are tier 6, so we get 5 ammo, 60% radius and an extra 120% heal. And then you can see there when we hover over it, so the stats I get 7 ammo. The ammo cooldown is only 20.5 seconds, the radius is nearly 5 meters, the duration is 7.5 seconds, but it repairs for 1.6 million nearly, which is absolutely crazy, absolutely crazy. Hive, we've gone with the healing hive. Scroll down, as you can see we get an extra 20 repair charges, 120% healing, 120% range and 420% health. And this is really where the healer comes into their own because this is absolutely insane. You can see the refill speed is 2 seconds, 32 charges, 30 meters range, duration is over a minute, it's 75 seconds and the healing is 462k. It's absolutely crazy. So what I'll do, I'll show you a few examples of how good this is. Just by going into here. 
so I've got the I'm going to disable the skill here so you get a true representation of how the skills react I'm going to drop down the hive I'm going to drop down maybe one of these as well and as you can see even damaging myself it's crazy crazy fast at healing me and you'll have seen from my examples as well how fast it is if I flick into here let me drain out the the hive a little bit more and we'll cancel pick it up and if you look into here look how fast it's gaining the stats back it's just insane so it's getting a charge back every two seconds it's absolutely crazy and just to make sure this is absolutely working legit because we don't always trust the range we will step outside And I found that, you know, for some period of time, even in a heroic mission, you can just stand there and heal yourself. And it'd be easy, easy, easy. So there's the hive. You can see how big the range is. It's absolutely crazy. And then look how quick it's building the stacks back up, even though I destroyed it. We're already at four nearly. There we go. And by so by the time the you know the hive's back up, you've got plenty of these to go at. They obviously don't stack, but you can see how long these last for as well. So you're an absolute healing monster. And underneath the ammo you can see the damage buff that is being provided to your team. So really good going to be viable for a healing build because obviously we can put this together without going in the raid because only the backpacks and the chests are going to be raid exclusive from the new gear sets so we're going to be able to put together a really good variation of this which is obviously going to help us out in the raid as well i'll leave you with some clips guys go and come and check me out over on twitch twitch.tv slash dj tickle where i stream most days check out my links in the description hit the subscribe and the bell notification so you get told when I upload new videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching everybody. Goodbye.